hanging out with David Diggs and Braffio Casal. Hello. Hey. Oh, yeah, I practiced damn. the name. I certainly did. So oh, you guys damn. obviously involved with blind spotting the new Loosely movie that's involved. coming. Loosely involved. Loosely involved. Peripherally, yeah. <laughs> Tell me how you guys came together on this film. How do we come together today? <sighs> well, um, so we've been working on it for about 10 years. Um, a producer, one of our producers, Jess Calder, found Raphael through a poetry wormhole, a YouTube poetry wormhole, asked him if he would like to write a movie. He said yes, and later on, uh, we had been friends and working, collaborating for a long time. I sort of got added into the fold. We decided we would like to make a movie about uh, the Bay Area, specifically Oakland, the town mm -hmm. that we come from, and uh, that it was going to involve verse. Tell me um, just about the name of the movie. How'd you guys come up with that? Uh, we we named the movie Blind Spotting. It's um, it's a slang where the Bay Area is really known for for okay. like originating slang, and so we wanted a, a title that was about originating language there. Um, and it's based on it's a slang word to, to talk about this uh, this theory called Rubens Vase. It's in a lot of like first year psychology courses. Yeah, it's a it's a freshman psych freshman majors, psych majors. You'll this know this one. You'll have this one now. <laughs> It's a, it's a vase and two faces facing each other depending um, on which one you see first. And the idea is that your entire life of experiences will always condition you to see one before the other. And then you'll have to work to see the, the other one. And it may be the vase, maybe the faces, it just depends what your life has been. But the, it's the idea that two people can always look at one thing and see two totally different things and have to work to see the other person's perspective. Tell us a little bit about what the movie is about. I've heard, I'm hearing that it's compared to Spike Lee's Do the Right Thing. Wait, that happens, yeah. People do be saying that, yeah, saying that, yeah. <laughs> Being compared, just making people turn within and look at how they view the world is what this movie is about. Uh, that is that is one of the things. I mean, realistically, we were just trying to tell the the story of two lifelong friends in the Bay Area, which is a place that is changing very rapidly. Um, there's there's uh, the the rate at which gentrification is happening in in Oakland is is pretty extreme right now. So we were trying to set these two friends in this context and also put one of our characters, Colin, on the last three days of his probation. So the stakes are very high because as if you know anybody who's towards the end of their probation, they're trying to send you back to jail. All right, super interesting there. Blind Spotting opens in theaters on Friday.